You know, one of the things that was discussed at the general managers meetings last week down in South Florida, Hazy, was whether or not the teams should switch ends in the five minute three on three overtime moving forward. And they they shelved it to maybe consider it for the future. I like the fact that they that they switch sides. Well, yeah, because it makes the change more difficult and it allows the team that is able to gain possession of the puck just a, an enormous advantage. The defensive team is a tough time getting back to their bench if, if the shift goes beyond 40 seconds or so. Sorelli wins the draw to begin overtime. He and Hagel immediately report to the Tampa Bay bench as Radish holds behind the goal. So the all important opening draw goes Tampa Bay's way and here comes Kucherov. Still scoreless in this game. He hands it off on the wing. It's Duclair circles the net all the way to the top of the slot looking for Radish. He went off the skate of Terry Radish gets it back. Now he'll take it behind the net the big defenseman. Leaves it at the line. Kucherov, this is a guy you want with it. He'll bring it in and fire. Dostal hangs on. Kucherov that time, and he was able to cut back against the grain and get that puck right between the circles. Carlson lunged. I think he disrupts the shot, John. The, the follow through of Kucherov was disrupted by the long reach of Leo Carlson. And think about that for a 19 year old Leo Carlson to be defending one on one against the guy that leads the NHL in points. Lightning again control the face off. Perbix curls on Kalorn his pass across broken up by McTavish. Good hands. Knock that out of midair. Ducks with numbers. McTavish has Kalorn with him and the drop pass way off the mark for Fowler. A break away from the far blue line for Sorelli. Two on all with Hagel and Sorelli. a tough way to lose the Ducks had numbers on the rush and just couldn't execute the drop pass from McTavish goes awry great watch this here's the rush up ice the Lawrence driving the center lane he tries to chip it back I think it may have hit a skate and now it's a 2 on 0 against the goaltender Dostal and one quick pass